Today we're diving into the exciting world of software development. It might sound intimidating, but trust me, it's fascinating once you get the hang of it. Imagine building something amazing, like a phone app or a website, using your creativity and problem-solving skills. That's what software development is all about. Software developers are like digital architects. They use special languages to tell computers what to do. It's like giving instructions to a very obedient dog, but instead of fetching, the computer follows your commands to create software. From the apps we use daily to the websites we browse, software is everywhere, making our lives easier and more entertaining. Have you ever wondered how your favorite game was created or how that cool new app on your phone came to be? Well, it all starts with an idea. Software developers take those ideas and turn them into reality using their coding superpowers. They write lines of code, which are like instructions for the computer, telling it exactly what to do. So if you've ever been curious about the magic behind the digital world, stick around. We're about to unravel the mysteries of software development together. Get ready to be amazed by the power of programming. Now let's talk about programming languages, the secret code that makes computers tick. Just like we use languages like English or Spanish to communicate with each other, programmers use specific languages to talk to computers. These languages have their own set of rules and grammar, but don't worry, they're not as complicated as they sound. Think of it this way. If you want to bake a cake, you need a recipe written in a language you understand. Similarly, to create software, developers use programming languages to write instructions that computers can understand and execute. These instructions tell the computer everything it needs to know, from how the software should look to what it should do when you click a button. Programming languages are the building blocks of software development. They provide a way for us to translate our ideas and instructions into a form that computers can understand and act upon. Next up, we'll explore some of the most popular programming languages used in the industry today. Stay tuned. Just like there are many languages spoken around the world, there are many different programming languages. Each language has its own strengths and is suited for specific types of tasks. Let's look at a few popular ones. First up, we have JavaScript. This language is like the life of the party when it comes to web development. It makes websites interactive and dynamic, adding cool effects and animations. Think of those fun quizzes you take online or the games you play on websites. JavaScript is often behind those. Next, we have Python. Known for its simplicity and readability, Python is like the Swiss army knife of programming languages. It's used in various domains, from web development and data science to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Another popular language is Java. It's a powerful and versatile language used for building everything from mobile apps to enterprise software. These are just a few examples of the many programming languages out there. The best language for a particular project depends on factors like the type of software being developed, the platform it will run on, and the developer's preferences. Now that we know a bit about programming languages, let's move on to development environments. Imagine a carpenter's workshop. It's filled with tools and equipment that help them build furniture. Similarly, a development environment is a software developer's workshop. It provides all the tools and resources they need to write, test, and debug their code. Think of it like this. You wouldn't write a novel on a sticky note, right? You'd want a comfortable writing space with all the necessary tools, like a computer, a word processor, and maybe some coffee. Similarly, software developers need a dedicated environment that provides them with the tools and features they need to code efficiently. These environments often include text editors for writing and editing code, debuggers for finding and fixing errors in the code, compilers for translating code into a language that computers can understand. Having the right development environment can make a world of difference for a programmer's productivity and efficiency. It's like having a well-organized workshop where everything is within reach, allowing the developer to focus on the creative process of coding. Creating software is like building a house. You don't just start laying bricks without a plan, right? That's where the Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC, comes in. It's a roadmap that outlines the different stages involved in building software, from the initial idea to the final product. Think of the SDLC as a recipe for success in software development. Just like a recipe guides you through the steps of baking a cake, the SDLC provides a structured approach to building software, ensuring that each step is carefully considered and executed. This structured approach helps ensure that the final product meets the user's requirements and is of high quality. It also helps manage the complexity of software development, 
breaking down the process into smaller, more manageable stages. Let's dive into each stage of the SDLC in more detail. Laying the foundation. Imagine you're building a house. You wouldn't start construction without knowing how many rooms you need, what kind of layout you want, or the budget you have, right? Similarly, the first stage of the SDLC is all about understanding what the software needs to do and who it's being built for. This stage involves gathering requirements from stakeholders, such as users, clients, and project managers. It's like having a family meeting to discuss everyone's needs and preferences for the new house. Once the requirements are gathered, they are analyzed to ensure they are clear, complete, and feasible. This analysis helps prevent misunderstandings and ensures that everyone is on the same page before moving on to the next stage. With a clear understanding of the requirements, it's time to start designing the software. This stage is like creating a blueprint for the house, outlining its structure, features, and functionality. Software designers create a detailed plan that outlines the software's architecture, user interface, and data flow. Think of it like this. You wouldn't start building a house without a blueprint, right? That's because the blueprint provides a visual representation of the house's layout, ensuring that everything is structured correctly and that the different parts work together seamlessly. The design stage is crucial because it lays the foundation for the entire software development process. A well-designed software system is easier to build, maintain, and understand. With the design in place, it's time to start writing the actual code, the instructions that will tell the computer what to do. This stage is where the software starts to take shape, like the walls and roof of a house being built. Programmers use their coding skills and the chosen programming language to translate the design into lines of code. They carefully follow the design specifications and adhere to coding standards to ensure that the code is clean, efficient, and maintainable. This stage is often the most time-consuming and challenging part of the SDLC, requiring a deep understanding of programming concepts and attention to detail. It's like the construction phase of building a house where skilled workers meticulously bring the architect's vision to life. You wouldn't move into a new house without making sure everything works properly, right? Similarly, before software is released to the public, it undergoes rigorous testing to ensure that it functions as intended and is free of bugs. Testing is like the inspection process for a house. Just like inspectors check the electrical, plumbing, and structural integrity of a house, software testers put the software through its paces, identifying any errors or defects that need to be addressed. During testing, the software is run through various scenarios and inputs to identify any potential issues. Testers act like end users, interacting with the software and reporting any problems they encounter. Thorough testing is essential to ensure that the software is reliable, stable, and meets the user's expectations. Once the software has been thoroughly tested and deemed ready, it's time for deployment, the process of making it available to users. This stage is like the grand opening of a house where it's finally ready for people to move in and enjoy. Deployment involves installing the software on the target systems, configuring it according to the user's requirements, and providing any necessary training or documentation. It's like handing over the keys to the new homeowners and making sure they know how everything works. Deployment can be a complex process, especially for large-scale software systems. It requires careful planning and coordination to ensure a smooth transition from development to production. That's a wrap on our journey through the world of software development. We've covered a lot of ground, from the basics of programming languages to the intricacies of the software development life cycle. Just like learning a new language or mastering a new skill, software development takes time, effort, and dedication. But the rewards are well worth it. By understanding the fundamentals of software development, you unlock a world of possibilities, empowering yourself to create innovative solutions and shape the digital landscape. Remember, the digital world is constantly evolving, and so is the field of software development. New technologies emerge, programming languages advance, and the demand for skilled developers continues to grow. So if you're fascinated by the power of technology and eager to embark on a challenging and rewarding career path, software development might be just the right fit for you. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of software development, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned for more exciting adventures in the world of technology.